my mother. And your mother? Yes. And what, what are we saying, okay? We call it grandmother diplomacy. Okay, what, what is a normal grandmother? Big family gathering, 60 people. Okay, food on the table, whether you're rich or poor. Okay, food on the table. Grandmothers, they don't eat until everyone who likes a lot of food has had their second helping. Okay, so the teenage boys and, and the grandmother knows. So, and what are we really saying about my mother and your mother? The inconceivable ability to sleep until everyone is fed. The inconceivability that you have money or power or fame for anything other than to take care of everything. That's my mom. That your mom? Exactly. So, and the, the idea that from your position of power, power, you would ever be rude to a person. Let me tell you a common story, okay? Doctor story, especially a doctor story where healthcare isn't free for everybody. A single mother of three, okay? Here's a single mother over here, so she'll like this story. Three children. The second child has asthma, needs two hospitalizations a year, okay? Uh, has a bad asthma, okay? So she has a job. Let's say the father, I like another situation in the room that I know of, doesn't send any money and doesn't give any time to the children. Normal father, okay? So you're agreeing with the normal father? Yeah, that's my father. Okay, there you go. Leave it up to the women because they can do it. Okay, so this woman has a job and she gets health care for the job and she needs the job in order to be able to deal with the two hospitalizations a year of her child because she is a normal loving mother. And what does she pay for having that job? Twice a week the boss gets to touch her breasts. Okay, and she knows she'll just lose her job. So she has to swallow his hands, his grimy, slimy hands on her breast as her trade for her child. Don't think I've heard that story one time. Hear my anger. Okay, what does Dr. Patch do? He calls up the boss and said, look, this is Patch Adams. I'm a, I'm a doctor and I just heard what you're doing to your employee. And if I ever hear that again, I'm going to go on nationwide TV about you doing it. Okay? And I want you to increase her salary and to be really nice to her as long as I'm alive and I'm healthy. Is that being a doctor? Is that being... That's grandmother diplomacy. So it's... It's not actually a big deal, is it? You know, did my mother make a big deal of anything she did? No. She would say, I'm a mother. And your mother said that, right? It wasn't, I'm the best mother in the world, or, you know, I'm a perfect person, or I should be president. No. She just was a normal, undamaged mother. That's really the message for who wants to be president is just a normal, undamaged mother. And you know, am I speaking the truth? Yeah. Because what would the mother do about the military? Get rid of the weapons, use, everybody goes into the military and they clean up rivers, they make permaculture gardens, they, okay, let's say you wanted to figure out how to get rid of cars and you wanted to travel from the East Coast to the West Coast. Hmm, let's say you heard of Sir Isaac Newton that discovered gravity, okay? So you build a tower on the East Coast, 3,000 miles, okay? And a slide to the base of the Appalachian Mountains. And you slide there, and then you build a tower there and slide to the base of the Rocky Mountains. And then you build a tower there and you slide to the West Coast. Three slides, 3,000 miles, no fuel. And that's just one simple solution. And if the idea is not profit, 
The idea is not raping our environment, which everywhere is raped. We are going to be extinct this century. If you read the 2,000 books on the environment I have read, you would go, it's not too late, okay, get this message. It is not too late. But I think in the 20s, we could find out it is too late. We are that perilous. And so, and you know, no Obama, no Romney, no, no man, I'm sorry. There are a few men that would, but we need to hand it all over to our mothers. And they would say, we've got to, we, we've got to teach loving. I, I'm not a special man. I'm just the product of a healthy mother.